Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be covering um, Mechanism. What Mechanism does is it adds a ton of just neat things to the game, um, such as factories which can um, process uh, your ores in a line kind of similar to thermal expansion but can handle more processes at once. Um, it adds energy cubes which are portable, um, portable energy storage. Um, it adds universal cables, which merge basically all energy into one cable. Um, so you can literally have like an entire line of universal cables, and there's actually no loss um, with them either. Um, and it adds a few generators to the game as well, as and a digital miner. Digital miners are pretty awesome. They kind of act like a quarry, but they skip all the junk um, that you don't want. All right, so to get started, we're going to cover the heat generator first. What this does is it creates energy from heat um, that's either around it or in it. So in this case we're dropping all that around it and that'll start creating energy um, from the heat around it. See? We're gaining energy. Now we're also going to add coal into it. This will fill up its internal buffer and it'll start creating more energy with that. Um, now the store the energy we just take universal cable, we hook it up to the little slot right there, that, see that circle? And that means it's the output. We'll hook that up to there and then drop our energy cube and there we go. See the green line? It's outputting energy now. All right, so we also have a few other kind of passive um, ways to get energy that require no input. Um, we have our wind turbine, which if we place it down and then put a universal cable in front, it'll start creating energy from, um, from wind. And then we have our advanced solar generator, which, as you guessed, creates energy from uh, the sun. We then have our basic solar generator, which is just a smaller version of it. So now we're creating some energy, as you can see. Now moving on, we have our uh, hydrogen generator. This creates energy from hydrogen. Um, how do you get hydrogen, you might ask? Well, that's actually pretty simple. We take our electrolytic separator right here, we hook it up to water, and then we take some universal cable. Um, and as you can see here, we got a plate right here. That's our output side, so keep that in mind when you're doing that. There we go. And let's actually wrench this so it's facing over here. And currently it's outputting oxygen. As you can see, there's an O there. That means it's outputting oxygen. So if we set a gas tank down as, as well as some pressurized tube, it'll output, um, it'll output into the gas tank. As you can see, it's flowing. and um, our oxygen's going down. We can also press this to output hydrogen and whatnot, um, but uh, we're just going to continue outputting the oxygen. Now, um, the hydrogen here, all we got to do is set this tank down. We're going to put a pressurized tube here and take this hydrogen generator. Uh, not like that. There. There we go. And now it's outputting hydrogen to this, and this is creating energy um, just from you adding power to this and then um, getting the uh, hydrogen out of it. All right, so all we got to do is let's put in a lead energy cube here, some universal cable, and there we go. It's now gaining energy, as you can see here, for um, very little cost. Um, moving on uh, is our biofuel generator. So uh, let's get some biofuel. And not that. Um, our bio generator. There we go. Just set that down. Put the biofuel in, and it'll start creating energy for you. Simple as that. And then we just put this to the output side. There we go. Simple. So that's the basic generators um, in this game. Um, all are in mechanism. I'll cover how to kind of um, get um, biofuel in another episode, so um, stay tuned for that. But I hope this was an informative video, and I'll see you all later.